and welcome to Consumer Electronics Review. I'm Reggie. Today we're talking about the biggest video game release of the year, Grand Theft Auto V, the latest in the series from developer Rockstar North for Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. As a first for the franchise, GTA V provides three playable protagonists. It also has a single player campaign that promises 100 hours of gameplay and an extensive online mode. But most of all, it provides a much needed escape from your awful life. Playing as Michael, Franklin, and Trevor, you can live and work in the fictional city of Los Santos, temporarily exiting the real world, which, let's face it, ultimately offers nothing. GTA V retains the arcade-style driving and hyper-violence of its predecessors, letting you engage in an elaborate power fantasy where you're actually in charge of something, and not just a bit player in the Ponzi scheme that is capitalism. You can customize your automatic weapon, then fire it from a vehicle, imagining the terrified fling civilians or the co-workers and family members who fill your life with grief. Yes, we work a job we hate so we can afford a video game that lets us release our pent-up aggression by way of virtual mass executions. I'm not judging. This world is a toilet. Why wouldn't you want to do that? But it's GTA V's more mundane tasks where it really shines. In contemporary San Andreas, you can have your character go bowling, watch your character watch a movie, or even have him get a haircut. Because we're past the point where these activities alone offer any joy, we need a layer of abstraction, much like a cuckold fetishist. Hey, playing tennis at the rec center doesn't offer the prospect of increasing your gamer score. Grand Theft Auto V even allows you to buy your own residence and invest in the stock market. Because in our hellscape of an economy, concepts like home ownership or saving for retirement are now just fantasies. You can even buy a garage and fill it with custom cars like your Jay fucking Leno or some shit. Because that's what our generation aspires to. Not slaying cyber demons or reigning over Azeroth, but merely participating in materialism. It all adds up to a fun-filled, escapist experience. Kind of like the secret life of Walter Mitty, only you don't need an indie rock song or to actually use your imagination. Mostly, GTA V is another interactive entertainment that'll distract you from the dispiriting pointlessness of it all. And hey, in just a few years, you'll be able to strap on an Oculus Rift headset and escape Earth entirely, finally realizing the snow crash utopia Neil Stevenson promised. I know I'll be playing, because my real life is sewer garbage. I mean, look at me. I get people hyped for products. That's what I do. Overall, on the Reggie scale, Grand Theft Auto V gets, you guessed it, five Reggies. Be sure to sound off in the comments, download the Consumer Electronics Review podcast, follow at CER Reggie on Twitter, friend me on PSN, next Xbox Live, and maybe I'll see you in the online world of San Andreas. Just don't ever talk to me in real life. For Consumer Electronics Review, I've been Reggie. See you next time. Or maybe not.